I welcome my honored guests. And if you wonder what you're doing here in my lush, verdant abode, well, that is because, my dear guests, I invited you here. And you can't say no to a god, can you? No, you can't say no to a god. Who was I? All right. Introductions. <laughs> sexual assault, and some pretty bloody violence. A lot of people are going to die. If you don't think you'll be comfortable with that, you can leave if you want. <laughs> I'm not that asshole. I'll never make you do anything you don't want to. By the way, this show and its contents don't reflect the views of Ithaca College or Features Theatrics, and there will be the use of non-functioning firearms. Is that everyone? <laughs> All right, let's get this shit started. <laughs> oh, but guys, can we cut the hi-hat? Maybe, maybe play something a little less cheesy mobster movie. This is my story now, we can do what we want. That's better. Pretty much ruins 
everyone's lives. And you know who's responsible for putting her in power? Oh my god, it's death! Let's discover us all! Let's get out of here! Ah! That's all me. Oh, this always happens. Can't a girl just have a leisurely walk to the maternity center without everyone in the town accusing her of murder? Whatever. I should probably cover up this stupid dress so people will leave me alone. Come on, it's time to go steal a goddamn baby. Stop her, she took the baby! Oh, that was close. What did I tell you guys? Steal a goddamn baby. Now I just gotta see her down where she Oh, shit, here she comes. I'm not pulling the trigger this time! What do they think they're doing killing babies? It's the Empress's orders. They don't care about the Empress. They don't care if these children are correct. I'm so tired of playing along this stupid game of elitism. Damn, she's distracted. Gotta get her attention on the baby. Subjects perfect. So she puts basically a eugenics program into place. 
and you know the malformation or mutation instantly killed. Pretty hypocritical for a lady whose own mutation makes her immortal, don't you think? But so that baby, that baby has a weird mutation. His eyes, bright neon red. It's because of the mutation that makes his blood the same red. Not the dark red shade that you or I have. No, he's got fucking maraschino cherries running through his veins. He would have been killed for sure. So Mother Marian took the child and left her career of child care for a life of, well, child care. They're who we're going to be following for this assignment. Anyway, here's our next stop. I'm supposed to leave a little girl who's been living in the woods for the last few years to their doorstep somehow. Oh, wow. A cave with a tour board into it. Poor free Indians living in the lap of luxury. Here, did you see spray kills yet? Yes, Mother. Good, we can go to the market. We're out of... Pretty much everything. Bring your heavy cloak just in case, though. Why do I have to hide every little scrape from the routine, though? It's not like they're gonna arrest me for having a bruise. Knowing them, they might. I know it's hard, sweetie, but the routine just scared of anything that's different. Believe me when I say there's nothing wrong with you. It's all their idiotic fears and hang-ups. Maybe someday the Empress will just let us live like people. Now don't do it, Rosa. Don't feed the pipe dream. Mother? Do you ever talk to your old girlfriend? What are you talking about? The mothers in the maternity were supposed to be celibate so we could focus on our work. You know that. I see a place. I see it in my mind. Well, there was that one time with Mother Lamont, but I don't know how you would have known about that. When you were young and bold and covered in tattoos. Tattoos? That definitely wasn't allowed in maternity. You're standing with a girl with short black hair, bright blue eyes. Now you're kissing like there's nothing left to lose. Not the only ones who want this world. 
Now tell me more about what we do in the... Um... I think they're visions. I can't change them like a fantasy. They just feel so real. Whatever they are, they could be an inspiration to a lot of people. How did you know the tattoo was me? I just... No, sorry. Did you hear that? It's probably just an animal, dear. I put her in a particular overall. I really gotta stop listening to my victims' conversations. I think they're visions. I can't change them like a fantasy. And they just feel so real. You're really, really, really you want this meat stick? Oh, maybe okay, that's more than a squirrel, whatever you're trying to get. Mother, I think there's something at the door. That does sound odd. Wait here. Oh my god, Claire, <laughs> come here. What is it? Oh, wow! Well, I know her. From your visions? Yeah, we both know her. She's a friend of ours. Let me go! Your queen can't get me out here! We? No, we just want to help you. We're on the run from the regime, too. Come inside. Have some soup. Well, that happened. God damn, I gotta start paying better attention. One more slip up and the old ass wife might take something else. I already haven't eaten in who knows how many years. Anyway, you're probably confused as to what our subject over there is seeing. I told you guys about the eye casts, but I didn't cover everything. You see, people lower on the color spectrum don't have as much of a disadvantage as you might think. Yeah, sure, we're technically physically smaller, weaker, and gener generally have shorter life expectancies. Though I'm convinced that's because of centuries of the government mistreating us and killing the strong slow casts. But the majority of us are born with some sort of supernatural ability. Sort of like an evolutionary leg. Some people have telekinesis, some can produce electricity. I've got time travel. And Kieran over there, he can see into different realities. If he really tried, he could probably jump around between several universes. But for now, he's fixated on one where the Empress didn't rise to power. The caste system didn't grow as rigidly, and our old friend the Time God probably didn't have as much influence. I wonder if I'd even exist in that reality. Ah, forget about that. I gotta keep going. Uh, next stop, Town Square, three years from now. All right, three out of four down. This assignment isn't too bad. Who knew creating a revolutionary prophet would be this easy? All I gotta do is nudge a slave in their direction and then send them all in for execution. This job is just so great. <laughs> Are you sure you need to do this so publicly? What if someone in power sees your eyes? What if you trip and fall on your your knee? If they see your blood, you won't be able to pass for burgundy. Miss Perrin's right. I've been writing all your visions down in my journal back home. We can just make these half one copies of those. You don't have to draw so much attention to yourself. No, I have to do this. Nobody is going to get behind us unless they hear what I actually have to say.
For centuries, the regime has told us former colored citizens that we can the lines of work we should go down. And whether or not we are to, we are meant to live freely or even at all. This is not some fate you are all forced to endure. You are your own person. You were born to be free. Now who's with me? Come forth and stoke the flames of revolution. Yeah! Yeah! Let me see if you can get nicely up. Oh, there's this lady. My, my friends, we're accidentally offending blue white people. They go missing. I want to see them free. Good. Anyone else? I'm tired of working with children. Just because the Anna Jay doesn't knock me on the nanny. I've been yeah. doing that for years. Yeah. The legal system is corrupt and it needs to be reformed. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Stoke that fire! We, we deserve, deserve what we desire. desire! Stoke that fire! We, we deserve, deserve what we desire. desire! Please help me! Oh my god! Out of my way! Has anybody seen a loose batter around here? There seems to be quite a ruckus over here. You two wouldn't know what could be causing that, would you? No, they're just walking by, sir. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for a loose gold eye. It'd be such a shame if I had to schedule an impromptu execution because someone stole my best battery. Ah, there's battery running towards that ship! He must be going back to free the others. That slippery eel! When it's not working, we've got to get out of here. All right, almost done with this assignment. Just got to skip ahead a few years or so, make sure everything's running smoothly, and then it's execution time. Forget the crowd. Just hear that little rust girl. She's only six. She's already vandalizing slave trade centers. <laughs> well, I don't know how much splashing red paint on the walls of institutions deep in the actual blood of the people will do to help uh, solve their issue of the regime. I'm just glad we're finally inspiring people to stand up for themselves. <laughs> what do you think about what they're calling you now? The eyeless prophet. You sound like a real revolutionary legend. They wouldn't be calling me that if someone were to let me share my eye color so I could inspire hiding mutants too. I spent so long hiding your mutations in the regime. I'm not gonna let you spoil that now. Looks like the revolution's been big for a lot of us. Probably it's time. Wait, did you guys hear that? I think someone followed us home. Who are you? If the regime sent you, you better get used to being in chunks. Everyone stop. Mara? You know this girl? Yeah, she's in my visions. The lovesick girl who's always joking about revenge. The lovesick? Revenge? What's going on? Come inside, we'll explain everything. It's freezing out here. So, my last name is Nikita. And if the Empress hadn't risen to power, I would just be a silly teenage girl obsessed with an ex-boyfriend? Yep. And I would have a big house full of cats, and 204 over there would have all his brain functions. <laughs> it was my battery code. Karen says I've got a real name, but I think I'm going to wait until I know I'm not going to be enslaved again before I start getting into things. It might seem crazy, but I know there's another way this world could have turned out. And I'm sure we can help it become that way now. That's why we risk our lives every week preaching around the nearby towns. <coughs> Just hope it'll make some kind of difference. We will, Mother. I promise. Next month, when we travel across the empire, Low cats from all over are going to hear our story. Not the whole story, though, dear. <sighs> yes, mother. Whole story? Kieran's just mad because Miriam won't let us know. But we don't know if we trust her yet. <laughs> all right, I won't ask. We're here now, that's all that matters. Speaking of which, how did you, an alternate universe friend of Kieran's, end up at our doorstep? <coughs> well, let's just say the guy who's kind of like my father makes me run his errands for him, and he drops me off around here. Errands? Who is this mysterious father figure? <laughs> Just some asshole. You don't need to worry about him. The only person he pushes around is me. Well, directly, anyway. You know he shouldn't be doing that, right? Has he ever hit you? That doesn't matter now. Um, tell me, why are you here? Something must have compelled you to leave your old life to care for some random abandoned baby, right? Oh, you want a story? I'll tell you a story. You or me, you can do one too. <laughs>
a solution. Infinite power for her own so perfect reign. But I found a loophole in the system. Blew out my constraints with an excess of power in the midst of it. Blew out my brain. Ow! It was fine. I get constant migraines and I lose my balance a lot, but at least I can still produce a spark. That's a lot more than most people who burn out would say. What happens to that? They can't produce electricity anymore, and most of them can't speak, so they're executed. But that's not the point. The point is, I got free. I found a path to freedom. So 
dead revolutionaries. Did you forget that I own you? I own your every action, and I will continue to own every fiber of your being until the day you die, which will never come, because I made you immortal. I didn't ask to be made immortal. Well, you're welcome, you ungrateful brat. How? How can you just lie to me like that? Lie to you like what? Telling me you rescued me as a kid, so I owe you shit. I could have had normal parents who loved me and treated me like an actual person. Or you could have starved to death by now. Or your birth parents could have been horribly cruel. Of course I lied to you. How else did you get a time-traveling child to do your bidding? I'm surprised it took you this long to figure it out. You're horrible. I can't be here right now. I'm going back. No, you are not. You are not to return to the revolutionaries unless you are going to their execution. The prophet and his followers need to die for my timeline to work. You need some time away from them. Another assignment? 
Well, you sure aren't finishing your current one, so you might as well get started on the next. There's a girl who needs to pass an exam to get into law school, but her proctor is set on failing her for personal reasons. You need to change his mind. She's going to become very important later on. What is the point of this? What is so important about any of these people? Do not question me. You will finish this assignment, and you will come back to the level head to finish what you began. Oh, and one more thing. Try to take a more hands-off approach this time. We don't need you fraternizing the subjects now, do we? You better learn to watch your tongue, or I'm going to have to watch it for you.
weren't supposed to hear that. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. I nervously sing to myself, too. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to mean that I was prophet here in Miriam, would you? If you're going to turn me into a revolutionary activity, <laughs> it's not it, it, No, don't, don't get the wrong idea. I'm, I'm actually with him, too. I've, I've been following him for a while now. Really? But you're the... <laughs> yeah, I know. I guess I'm kind of trying to use my color privilege to fix the system. You know, gotta play the system to fix the system, right? <laughs> Why well, give a shit, though? Not that I'm saying no, you should have, just curious. <laughs> Do you see these glasses? They're actually color corrected lenses. I can't see color without them. It's not the worst handicap. I'd never be enslaved because of it or anything, but if people found out about it, I'd definitely be banned from most decent career paths. So instead, You've designed them to make them look as ridiculous as possible so everyone thinks you're making a statement instead of being something you need. Yeah, um, and I see the world through rose tinted lenses anyway, so the vibe kind of works, but enough about me. What connection do you have with the prophets? That doesn't matter. I've said too much. Come on! What are the chances I'm going to find another follower of his here, let alone an exam proctor? You've got to talk to me! I'm not your proctor. Wait, what? I'm not your exam proctor. He's lying naked in the trash compactor behind the school. What? 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 I, I can still, I can still take this test, right? Because if, if I don't take this test right now, I might not don't worry about the exam. You're fine. Here, see, you need to have the answer key if you want. <laughs> I was sent here to make sure you succeed for whatever reason, probably because it's fate to be. Fate to, fate to be? I'm so. Oh my God, death has come for me. Not you. Oh, don't worry, you're fine. <laughs> Sorry you have to deal with all this. I don't usually reveal myself to my subjects. I'm just having a ship day. Are, are you okay? Can gods, like, get sad? Well, I'm not a god, just be apprentice to one. Just... I'm supposed to turn the prophet and his revolution into the regime, but I may have just spent the last week living with them and learning about their way of life, and I just can't take this job anymore. Shit. You wouldn't be able to just leave, would you? No. I'm bound until death, but the bastard even found a way to take that from me. Well, look, I, I don't know you or your situation at all, but he, you're dead. <laughs> you're the all-powerful apprentice to the god of time. I mean, you've done all this before, right? Look, I'm not going to tell you to kill the prop, to turn in the prophet, or to leave, or anything, really, but I will tell you this. You need to trust yourself. You know what's best for you. You might be an agent of chaos, but you're your own agent of chaos, you know? <laughs> Thanks, I really needed that. I just hate feeling like that time bastard's puppet, you know? Of course, it's the least I can do. You literally just handed me the key to my future. <laughs> Don't mention it. It was fated to be, after all. I'd say good luck in law school, but you literally won't need it. <laughs> wow. Fated to be. <laughs> you can do this. You can do this. You've turned people into the regime hundreds of times before. Thousands even. You just gotta walk in, and do this, and have three weeks of pure bliss. Maybe even more if the time bastard doesn't catch you turning back time after it's all over. Just walk in, get it over with. Excuse me, Your Highness. And who exactly are you? Royal Messenger. I come with news about a small rebellion out in West Harbor. It's fairly local, but it's growing fast. Another one? What's it about? Don't tell me you've wasted my time with a lunatic on a street corner. I think you'll want to pay attention to this one. It was started by a teenage boy and his mother. They've been preaching tolerance and caste equality for a few years now, and they're really persuasive. Also, there might be rumors that the boy is hiding a mutation. A blood mutation. A mutant? I haven't had fun like this in a while. I'll assemble the troops at once. And while I'm at it, why not spread around the fun a little? What do you think I should do to your treasonous rebels? Me? Well, with the boy, do whatever you think you should. His death is up to you. However, if I may request something, could you possibly spare his mother's life and enslave her instead? She's still young and capable. It would be a shame to watch her. Go to waste. Some do say slavery is a worse fate than death. I'll consider it. You are dismissed. Thank you, your imperiousness. Well, glad that's over. Don't have to worry about that. Now.
now, I'm going to relax for the next three weeks. Three whole weeks of having a family. Yeah, this will be great.
back, honored guests. I apologize for that little interruption. My assistant isn't known for her impeccable behavior. But the show must go on. Our story is not over. You see, even though the Prophet has fallen to the hands of the regime, there are still questions left unanswered. Who was the girl Mara helped into law school? And why is she so important? What if you his fellow revolutionaries? I can tell you that more than one of them have survived. <coughs> what of his poor grieving mother? The loss of a child is an insurmountable pain. You think you should get your voice back, but last time you had it, you were so very insubordinate. I suppose the story doesn't need to go on. Can't keep our audience waiting, and I certainly can't do it myself. Oh, oh that hurt you, asshole! Watch it, you still have not regained my trust. Oh, I devalue your trust so much. Here, your next assignment. You have to board the ship with the Captain Mind Bang and find a way to get her arrested. You can get a little creative with that if you'd like. You can reroute your ship, report her coordinates to the government, just make sure she makes it into the hand of the regime. And I slipped a few extra tips in there, because you're clearly incapable of taking a hands-off approach. Up, or you'll be losing more than your voice. Types about pirates and they don't utilize our ship's orchestra to its fullest potential. And? And they're fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
fucking Well, it's not Patrick, he's in the government. Cargo ship! I'm sorry, I thought it was just a really big boat! I'm sorry! Punch him right in the... Amalia? Trevor. Hey. How's the baddest, sexiest girl on this side of the empire? I don't know. Won't you tell me who's the richest, sexiest guy on the side of the sea? I don't know. Well, I'd say I'm doing pretty good since you got here. Pretty good since you got here. Trevor. Yes?
All right, which one is it? Which one of these little mail order whores are you fucking? Oh shit. You? Trevor, what in the hell do you think you're doing? I received an anonymous tip that you've been cheating on me for years with your fucking slaves! Calm down. That one's your favorite, isn't she? Rare, pretty, doesn't have the agency to refuse. Calm down, I can explain. I will not fucking calm down. This is the last straw. It doesn't have to be this way. No, you're wrong. You pushed me around for the last time, Amalia! Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? Is that what it's like? This is what you do every day? This is disgusting. I, I, I can't take this anymore. I've had enough. I'm turning you into the regime. I can't do this anymore. You hear that in time, shit? I can't do this. Take away anything you want. Take away my brain function privileges, privileges for all I care. It's not like I die anyway. Just don't make me spend one more minute with that fucking pirate bitch. I am tired of obeying your fucking commands. I'm tired of hurting everyone like this. I'm fucking dumb. Oh, right. Her. Yes, this is perfect. She can destroy that bitch and I barely have to do a thing. And she works for the government now. This is good, this is good. Maybe I can actually fix some of this shit. Teresa, Teresa Rowan. Hey, it looks like death's come for me again. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mara? Come to kill off one of the senior investigators for me? <laughs> I don't only show a place to kill people. Yeah, yeah, I know. I never fully thanked you for killing my proctor and passing my exam for me. I <laughs> owe you my life. I graduated top of my class and immediately got hired here. I'm one of the bros around here, they love me. Oh, What's up, Ray Clark? So 
up. I'll have the papers on your desk in 20, Mr. Leon. <laughs> <laughs> I like glasses, huh? They just like me in general. I think I actually have a chance of making a difference through this place. Speaking of making a difference, you would happen to know of a case known as Mindfan, would you? The Mindfan case? Yeah, that one came in this morning. If I remember correctly, she's being convicted for um, theft, treason, concealment of mutation, and um, slave abuse. Yeah, I was really surprised that someone was actually sticking up for slaves like that. Yeah, about that. You need to make sure that batshit crazy girl never sees the light of day again. Wow, I did not realize the gods were so invested in this case. I, I was just going to pass it off to somebody else so I could focus on my reform plans. She raised and killed Rosa Marion. The mother of the revolution? Yep, I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind. I thought I had found a way to save her, but despite everything, the one person, the kindest person I've met in millennia, slips right in my fingers. Am I doomed to destroy everything that I care about in this life? I know it won't change what happened, but I will do everything in my power to bring her down. Although justice can be hard to be found. behind her. That doesn't even make sense. Teresa said she was heading the case herself. How did it go so wrong? No one here can tear me from the top. Your world is mine. You hear me? All mine! Well. Second express wasn't put on properly. How often she might control the judge into stabbing himself? Everything fell so perfectly in place and you didn't even have to interfere. This isn't what's supposed to happen. This can't be what's supposed to happen. She's a whole of person that needs to die. I don't care how good a person she is. She's an integral part of my plan and she doesn't die until I say she does. I swear one day I'm gonna kill you, you bastard. You can't kill a god, Mara. Oh, come on. You have a job to do. I'm not doing shit! Mara! Can't stay in there forever. You can't make me look at that piece of shit captive any longer. There's no choice in the matter. Timeline must go on and we can't keep our audience waiting. Come now, show them what our subject has been doing since her trial. Has she fallen into a deep depression without her ship and crew around? Not exactly. Then I'm not coming out. Fine, let's see how long you like it in there when I take out the air. If she's being difficult, I suppose you're going to be with me for the time being. No matter, I'm no stranger to telling a story, <laughs> especially one as tantalizing as this one. I bet you're all curious to see what our hero has been doing since she fled her trial, fled her execution, <coughs> with nothing but the clothes on her back and the sword she took as bounty. Why don't we take a look? Oh, but first I need to take care of a little business. Hey, you hold the piano. Yeah, you're fired. <laughs> when our heroes at the lowest with no one left to turn.
We can no longer sit around and wait for things to get better from the inside. No. We need to take action now. Yeah! But she's very much alive and in this square right now. And I have to watch her be happy and fulfilled in the same place where I let the only people who gave a shit about my happiness be murdered in cold blood. Hey, that wasn't your fault, remember? The time God's will is dark and mysterious and frankly, really idiotic. Yeah, <laughs> and I have to bring that idiotic will to life until the day I die, which is never. I can't take this anymore. No system is flawless. There's got to be a loophole. I'd like to introduce you to our cerulean ally and the love of my life. Amalia, will you come out here, please? Oh. No, she's not allowed to stand there. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't draw attention to us. She'd probably recognize me if she saw me. I, I should get out of here before she does. Hopefully I'll see you soon, okay? I'm sorry. Look! at the red of the eyes of our prophet. Look at the wings on my back that I spreaded when I was just a teenager. Look at the abnormalities you may have told yourselves. This is the progress that the Empress is afraid of. Evolution, progression to measure beyond anything she could ever imagine. We are not dogs meant to be bred in perfect color with no variation. No! We are meant to be people. Yeah! Now who's with me? Yeah! Because you can't stop our cry. The flames are burning ever higher. You can put out a Go out there and crush the empire. You can put out a United we can triumph. The world out there is grim and dire. But you can put out, you can put out a fire. Yeah! 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 You did so great, honey. I think you really got to him out there. Are you kidding? They were screaming! They do always love a good protest, huh? They're not the only ones who love when they start singing. Stop it. People are gonna stare. Wait. Shut up. Is that? Oh my god, it's one of my old Swabbies. One of your what? From the ship. Hey! Swabby! Over here. Oh my god, I really don't need this right now. Hey, Captain Mindfang? Hey, I can't believe you survived the arrest. I didn't think anybody escaped. How have you been holding up without a captain to take orders from? Um, honey? Oh, sorry, baby. This is one of the girls from my ship, mostly did cleaning duties. Yep, she always had me mopping those slave quarters. Mopping those what? Her slave quarters. She had tons of them. So much to clean. Maybe we should cool up with the whole slave thing. I felt kind of bad for the poor guys, you know? Lots of casualties. One time your girlfriend here accidentally deflected the bullet straight into one of her favorite slaves' heads. Amalia, can we talk? Sure, <laughs> let's just go over there. Sure was nice talking to you again, bitch. <laughs> That's to get them going. <laughs> you own slaves? No, I mean, sort of. Sorry. You own slaves? Were they a lower caste than you? Were they government fugitives? What am I saying? Of course they were. Well, who else was going to be for sale? It was a power move. Just forget about it. A power move? Against who? The people you were purchasing? Against the Empire. They would have never seen me as a serious threat unless I had slaves. So instead of liberating them and letting them live on your ship with the rest of your crew, you locked them in slave quarters and used them as goddamn human shields? That was a really long time ago. Give me a fucking break. And what about me? What? What's the difference between them and me? If I was found out when I was younger and by some miracle, not killed on sight, I would have been thrown right into the slave market. Would you have bought me and used me as the target of some crazy man's gun? Honey, no. There was no <laughs> difference. Dante, wait. Stop, I can't explain. You've explained enough. It's like I don't even know you. What happened with Rosa Miriam wasn't normal. I didn't normally shove my wait. slaves your slave's name was Rosa Marion? Yeah, what does that matter? Was she a short jade with unusually formal vocabulary? She was unusually formal in the bathroom, too. Oh my god, you slept with her? That was the mother of the first revolution! Oh shit. Oh shit! I can't believe you would do something like this. I can't believe you wouldn't recognize one of the most important figures in our cause. Do you even care about our cause? Honestly, I didn't even know the first revolution happened until you came around. You know what? I'm done with this. Where are you going? Out. I can't be around you right now. You'll be back later, right? I don't know. It 
depends on how comfortable I feel sharing a bed with an upper class slave owner tonight. Society is crumbling and it's all the fault of the regime. With each failed revolution, the Empress puts more and more self-destructive policies in place, further ruining her own empire. Do you want to know what happens to the new revolution? Let me guess. After impairing the love of his life, Dante spirals into a deep depression and lets the revolution sputter out, turning himself into the government as a final act of desperation. <laughs> exactly. I've learned a lot from you. You would almost be fit to rule the next world. Next world? Why do you think I want to see society crumble? This world is wrong. It's corrupt. There's no point in ruling over a broken world. So, I'm starting over. What? So everything I've been doing is just so you can... Destroy the old world? Yes. And build a new one in our image. Do the other gods know about 
about this? <laughs> Who will stop me? The god of wind? The god of love? Nothing is more powerful than time. They all gave up long ago. Our new world won't be bothered with the trifles of lesser gods. There will only be time. Time and his child. There's only one person in the world we need to take. I need someone bright. Someone who can learn what you've spent millennia learning in a matter of weeks. Someone I won't waste my time with. And all I'd have to do is fetch them for you? It's a little more complicated than that. To fully bind them to me, you have to be killed by them. <laughs> Which won't be the hard part for you. Do you accept this final assignment, or will you join me in the new world? Keep me down, Wolf. Are you sure? There you'll have power. You will rule from above like a true god. Do whatever you please to your subjects. I don't want that power. I've never wanted any of that. All right. Coordinates are right there. It's best not to think too hard about who you're binding to me. Who are you talking about? Is it someone I know? Never mind that. Um, you can still change your mind. Remember, for her to become my apprentice, she needs to kill you. But you can always kill her first. Letting me. Well, you haven't put anything in your body for decades, so who knows what would happen if I lived to your immortality on an empty stomach. Lift? Oh, wow, this is really happening. Hurry now. <laughs> You've been neglecting your body for ages. Who knows how long it'll take to catch up to you. <laughs> you know, I've tried to kill myself before. Not like with a gun to the head or overdosing on drugs or anything like that. That would do shit to me. I mean like turning back time and trying to kill myself as an infant before he got to me. He caught me, of course. Can't run from omnipotence. Is my existence actually a curse that needs to be passed on? Why does he have to bind someone while getting me involved? I mean, what would happen if I died by my own hand? What if I used this lifted immortality to my advantage? I could go back to the time right before the Empress rose to power and stab her through the heart and then immediately kill myself afterwards, stopping this entire mess of the world from happening. No, he never let me do that. I can't jeopardize my one chance of freedom. Then again, should I take freedom? Should I subject someone else to this eternity of torture just so I don't have to work for that megalomaniacal bastard anymore? Would either of us even have power to rule in the new world? I'd probably just be following his orders like usual. God, what do I do? I mean, if we fight and she kills me anyway, then she'll just be his new apprentice no matter what. I might as well make my way over it. I don't know what happens to you guys if I die. Hopefully he won't be a dick and just put you back to the regular time. Well, I guess the time's now. Who knows how much longer I have in the mortal body.